All right, we're following breaking news on Detroit's east side where violence between two drivers on the freeway leads to a shooting at St. John's Hospital on Moross. We're told two people were shot. Right now, police are searching for those shooters. Jason Coulthorpe is live at the scene. And Jason, uh, what are you learning so far? Well, first of all, it may have been three drivers. More on that in just a moment. First, uh, let me give you the update at the hospital. It is open again, although the hospital in a statement tonight saying patient care was never interrupted, although you're about to hear from somebody who was in the ER when these shots rang out that would argue otherwise, as well as several other patients we talked to tonight. Let's take you to the video and walk you through just what was just a crazy scenario. It started on I-94, according to police, with two, possibly three vehicles involved in a road rage incident, possibly. We do know shots were fired there. One person was hit. He ended up here at St. John Hospital. While he was here, police say two vehicles, a black Chevy Equinox late model and also a white late model Chevy Impala met in the parking garage here briefly. The next thing they emerged and started firing shots at several people outside of the ER. Those people are believed to be family members of the first victim. Shot in that incident was a man who was hit in the ankle, believed to be the father of the first victim. Now listen as the chaos all went down, listen to one man who was inside the ER when, the, when he heard all of this. And we see a guy drive up, literally, me and another guy talking, and he stick his hand out the window, fire about 50, about 15, 20 shots, and by then we land on the ground. I mean, because you can hear him hitting the glass. Yeah. And uh, I guess St. John spent money on glass because they didn't go through. Yeah, bulletproof glass here at St. John. None of the bullets actually got through there. However, several patients immediately left the scene uh, once they were able to. Police were telling people uh, they were holding patients up here for quite a long time, not letting anyone in. Uh, police actually have recently left the scene. Now, here's what we've seen in the last few minutes. A red Dodge Charger was hauled out of here by police and MSP closely following. We believe that was the victim's vehicle on I-94 that was involved with that black Equinox and that white Chevy Impala. Police looking for both of those. That's not one of the vehicles, by the way, but police looking for both of those vehicles tonight. Uh, the two men that were shot, both stable, expected to be okay. Uh, coming up at 11 o'clock on Local 4, you're going to hear from uh, several other witnesses who were in the ER when these shots started ringing out. They, so many shots that everybody hit the floor, including one young man who was in a wheelchair, dove out of that onto the floor. You'll hear all of that coming up at 11 o'clock. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. We look forward to your report coming up at 11. Jason, thank you.